Orlando's 407 Food Fair, hosted by MAM Events. If you're hungry in Orlando, then you've come to the right place. There's such a huge selection of food, I don't know where to begin. Let's check out the first spot, Speakeasy Burger. This burger pop-up has been around for only about a year and has created a major buzz in the Orlando food scene. They sell out at every event, referred to by many as the best burger in Orlando. Speakeasy Burger. See pickles, they got their special sauce, smash burger. Double American cheese, onions. You guys saw how it was made. Can't wait to try this out. All right, Speakeasy Burger. They say this is the best burger in Orlando. Let's see if it's true. Ready, guys? Ready. All right. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The special sauce. It tastes like Big Mac sauce. Honestly, definitely best burger in Orlando. I like to eat burgers almost every day if I could. It like <laughs> melts together. There's like a sauce and like the cheese, it all just kind of pulls in. The onion flavor that goes in with the burger when they smash it, it's just perfect. That's uh, it. There's nothing else to add. It's so amazing. It. <laughs> you gotta try it, man. I hope he gets a food truck. Oh God, he yeah. He gets more mobile oh, instead dude. of just doing events. Selling out everywhere at that point, just Definitely. wherever he wants to go. <laughs> Next up, we have Itsayana with the fluffy fried tacos. Let's chat with the owner, Diego. Wow, so you made the tortillas fresh. Yeah, every single day we got that out of the house, making it right after the workout. Okay. Where are you guys from? Mexico. So that's oh, the Mexico? border with Guatemala, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're literally like. I want to have drive from there. Okay, <laughs> you're right next door. So uh, the idea comes from salbutes in the southern part of Mexico, the border with Guatemala. We eat something called salbutes, it's like a little um, dough that we flash fry, and then they stuff it with beans and put the meat on top, and then you can it's viable like a regular taco. We just fry them up a little bit longer so they crisp up more like a. You know, you got kind of get that Americanized feel of a taco, but it's still very authentic. Okay, awesome. It's definitely very unique. Seen it before. Yeah, we got media, we got carne asada, we got chicken, we got uh, the rajas with queso is really popular. Authentic stuff, but with our own little modern twist. Right? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it looks amazing. Over there, you got the uh, what is that? The steak cooking? Yeah. So this is steak cooking right now. We got chicken and then all our hot meats over there. Awesome. Wow. That is on a super right. busy day, man. Yeah, I saw. Last time we were here, I don't think it was as, as busy. It was like, uh, I forgot what kind of event it was. This same event last month, but it was a little bit slower because it was a rainy day, but okay. people are definitely outside. Yeah, definitely. A nice day. All right, thank you, man. All right, we'll wait for our guys. order. All right, guys, these are the tacos from Itzayana. This is the birria, al pastor, and their steak taco. And they give you a little bit of consomme right here for the birria taco. Can't wait to try these out. Let's have a let's look at the whole whole plate here. One more round: steak, al pastor, and birria. Let's start with the steak. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, these are nice. Tortilla is crunchy, nice and crunchy. The steak is so tender. I think there's some kind of like a, there is a crema in there, I can see it. All right, next up, al pastor. Mm. Mm. No, mm -hmm. it's the marinade. That gives the al pastor that I kind of sort of flavor. Now for the birria. Let's dip it in this consomme they gave us here. Alright, another dip for good luck. 
Oh. I'm really loving this. It reminds me of like a mole. A really delicious mole. Wow. I never had a consomme like this. Consomme is amazing. Amazing. I love this. You gotta get this. You gotta get this one. <laughs> Lastly, we're visiting Uncle Den Dogs to try their amazing Korean corn dog. All right, guys, over here at Uncle Den Dogs, this is Korean Tteokbokki. They are rice cakes in a sauce. We're gonna try those out. And this is the OG Den Daddy, Korean corn dog. That, the look over here, it looks amazing. Korean in Bogota. So this is like their fusion Korean hot dog. I like the potatoes around the edge. It doesn't, it's not like a cornbread. It's more like a like a bread, like a fried bread, cheese. It's got like a spicy mayo. I love the potatoes. It's like an awesome French fry. Mmm. More cheese. <laughs> All right, we're getting down to the hot dog. Let's taste it. I think I prefer it with just mozzarella. I think that's the best one. Korean in Bogota. This is the fusion K dog that they have here. Let's taste it. Mmm. I found my favorite here. It's got it's got a garlic crema. I've had this before. That similar type of crema. This is amazing. You gotta get this one. What do you think of it? Is it better? I like this one better because of the garlic crema. Mm -hmm. I like this one better with the hot dog. The other one, I prefer the cheese side better. I don't know. Something about this garlic crema. 407 Food Fair. Amazing. Amazing food. I think if you're going to come here, you got to get one thing at every food truck. <laughs> Otherwise, you're really missing out. There's so much variety. So many great options. Uh, if you're gonna do Itzayana tacos, get the Beria taco. If you're going to Uncle Den Dogs to try the Korean corn dogs, get the Korean in Bogota. That's my favorite. Love that one. That is my favorite. If you are, happen to be anywhere at a food event and you see Speakeasy Burger, make sure to grab one and make sure to get in line because they sell out often i've seen it happen all right i'll catch you next time don't forget to eat drink and be merry